so welcome back to another video it's a girl Rachel so as you all see by the title down below I'll be doing a Q&A in tonight's video cuz yes right now it's basically 10 23 I wanted to do this video earlier in the day but honestly I was extremely busy filming a video <sighs> but the greatest thing is I'm here to do the video no so if you're new to the channel please go ahead and subscribe and make sure you turn on the post notification bell so whenever i drop a video you'll never miss an upload and remember to follow me on instagram at rush underscore shella as well as my business page at rush underscore e-commerce and please remember to leave a like on the video spawn the comment section and watch the ads for me over here all right so I'm not sure how many questions I have here, but I have a lot. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. Even though most of the questions are like repeated. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to like the questions that are repeated. I'm going to like say, okay, like this is the most asked question. Just answer it. All right. So these are the amount of questions that I have to go through. Alright, so let's jump right into the video. This person didn't ask a question, but this person was basically just saying something. So this person say, my love, when you chat the raw patwa. Well, a lot of people like to hear when I talk patwa. And I mean, that is something that is good. As well as a lot of people hate me for talking in patwa, which men are business. <laughs> Alright, so this person asks, what are your thoughts on long distance relationship? My thoughts on long distance relationship is if two persons are together and they know exactly what they want. And it's a case where they know that a long distance relationship is something that they can manage. Nothing is wrong with doing one. Because truth is, you have to know how to hold out. You have to know that it's just that person alone. So once they make up your mind and you're serious about a person, vice versa, then nothing is wrong with a long distance relationship because I've been in a long distance relationship before. Alright, so this person say, love the fact that you're ignoring all the negativity and moving on with God in the midst. Um, for the person, angel underscore McPherson that left this comment. Honestly, having God in the midst is one of the best things anyone can do. And negativity is something that I don't think anyone should feed on because it's not healthy. Okay, how old are you? So this is basically like the most popular question a lot of person been asking. But I'm gonna put you all to the test. So this specific question is a question that I'm gonna leave you guys to answer down in the comment section. And I guess that's fair enough. So anyone that get it right I'll be replying to your comment and saying, okay, correct, or if you're not correct, then I'll say incorrect. So, I'll leave you all to be the judge of that. So, let's see who the lucky person is going to be down in the comment section. How old were you when you have your daughter? When I had my daughter, I was 18 years old. Are you planning... To migrate to the USA this question I would say this question is a question that is personal so I will not be answering this question on camera this person asks what is your favorite color I um I don't have a specific color actually um, I have three favorite colors that I like and those colors are pink blue and yellow so those are my favorite colors. So I don't have one color, but three. When is your birthday? 
Okay, my birthday is the 23rd of September. Which high school did you attend? So I attended the Edwin High School. Not a question. You're beautiful and strong. Continue being humble. They have a saying that say, humble calf so the most milk. Nothing is wrong with being humble and a lot of persons don't know that naturally I am humble. Why you don't follow back your supporter? Alright, for this question, I would say this is a ridiculous question. Reason being is if you have a million supporters, are you going to follow back a million supporters? That doesn't make any sense. And then, yeah, you guys have to bear in mind that you have supporters that just support you, but they don't really like you. And you have genuine supporters that they support you every step of the way. But um, for me, I personally cannot follow back everybody on my page. Why don't you post more content on Instagram and TikTok? Um, I would say like time is beating me bad because I have a lot of things to do at home when my daughter is here I have a lot of things to do same way and I have a busy life I cannot take on every single thing but I'll try my best to be more consistent on Instagram and TikTok how is your life going so far? Honestly, my life is going good so far. I can't complain about anything, to be honest. I mean, once you have life, that's like the greatest thing a man can ever wish for. So, I have life. I'm healthy. I'm happy. I don't really have anything that I would say is stressing me or so. So, I'm good. Do you have a 9 to 5 or have you ever had one? Actually, I'm self-employed and YouTube is my 9 to 5 and no, I've never had a job before but if it's a case where I want to say have a job, I don't have a problem to have a job. So yeah, it's not like I'm the lazy type or the type that talk down on people that do 9 to 5 that you know are going to go out there and hustle. No. If I want to do that, I can do it. What's your favorite food? For this for this question, I have a lot of foods that I would classify as my favorite food. Like for instance, um I love shrimp. I love shrimp and spaghetti. I love jerk chicken. I love soup. I love fish. I love a lot of things. So it's kinda hard. For me to like say what I really love love but if I should do go down to one thing that I could pick to eat for the rest of my life I would honestly choose lobster because I love lobster yeah what is your favorite song my favorite song is breathless so this person asks why you full of so much attitude the best way I can answer this question is Banana change a change a summer girl a summer girl Alright <laughs> Guys, everybody have attitude, okay? Just as some people may not show it But everybody have attitude Whether it be your extra witty Or whether it be, you know, so extra witty but everybody have attitude and this is just me like if you're used to me if you grow up with me then you will know that this is just me okay like me we talk to you and you as say me I give you attitude and me I say no me not give you attitude but th this is just me it's not like me I pretend like you know me not have attitude or stuff but yeah I mean I can't change myself okay I realize a lot of person been asking me this question so I'm just gonna address it in this video is it true 
Is it true that the guy you're with know? Is it true that you tell lie on him, say him rape you? How can a person tell lie on someone they know and then end up talk to the person like that is a lie and that is not true whatever whatever happened between me and my boyfriend we both know the truth and we both knew what happened so for all the persons that are asking about the R A P E word there nothing like that okay nothing like that and uh, this is a thing like you know when people want attention or want to like put certain things in people head they're gonna come out and say all oh, manner of evil just to let people feel like oh yeah you're evil are them something there but really and truly me and if you're grown and I tell life on people say so people do this or people do that because nobody never R-A-P-E me, okay? Yeah. What is it like having a new boyfriend and starting over, although you look happier? Having a new boyfriend is like, for me, starting a new chapter where, you know, everything is fresh. So, you know, you and the person can start doing fun things together. You and the person can accomplish things together. For me, I would say it's one of the best feelings anyone can look forward to have. Where in Clarendon are you from? Alright, um, for this person that asks this question, I will not disclose where in Clarendon I am from. So anyone that is in Clarendon know where I am from Clarendon, then it may keep that way. But I will not be coming on camera and giving my exact location for nobody to know where i am what are your future goals all right so for this question i'm gonna be honest um i will not answer this question reason being is you have a lot of evil persons that are out there and bear in mind you have a lot of persons that are watching my channel therefore i will not be disclosing my personal future goals for anyone to know because you know a lot of persons are evil and if it's a case where people know your future goals you know people will want to try stop you from accomplishing certain things that you would want to accomplish so that's something that I would rather keep to myself Whew. But not nah, lie still, but some people like definitely need to know how to construct a sentence. Like, mm -mm. we just feel like grandma be some people bad, bad, bad still. But this other person asks, is you and BF live not to be fast stills? <laughs> No, nah, love, eh? Hey. No, like, out of my 20 odd years on earth, I did not know a person could, like, begin a sentence and say, is. Like, seriously? Anyway, no, I do not live with my boyfriend. How did you meet your current boyfriend? So, as I told you all before, we'll be doing a story time on how we meet. So when the story time comes, you all will know how we meet. So this person asks, Hey, I love your videos. You are really an amazing mother. My question is, how do you cope with all the negativity and people bashing you for what happened in your previous relationship and judging your new boyfriend? Alright. Really and truly, guys, how I cope with the negativity, alright? So, we all know negativity is nothing good. 
and the way oh, I would say I go about negativity is just trying my best to just block out everything that's negative so if it's a case where I have to block and delete ignore I will do that because once you start feeding on negative energy it's going to affect you mentally so the best thing I do is just block out negativity because I don't want negativity to drain my energy as we all know negativity is something that will even leads to you getting stress and all those things and my whole aim is to just be happy be healthy and just enjoy my life so for people bashing me in my previous relationship truth is we all know once you put your business out there in the media you know people are going to voice their opinion and you know you're going to have people that are going to motivate you you're going to have people that are going to try to tear you down and stuff really and truly people can bash people for multiple reasons whether it be it's a case where they're bashing you for something that you did or something that you didn't do and really and truly I would say people can bash me all they want cause when I was in my relationship and I was going through my phase and I was going through my stress and I was going through my burden nobody wasn't there I was the only one that was there and I knew what happened so I just allow people to talk about people judging my new boyfriend people can judge but as the Bible would say the only person that should judge is God so if a person want to judge feel free to judge I mean since you're God judge the next question have you have have you planning to further your education yes dear I am planning on furthering my education what's the best thing about being a mom the best thing about being a mom is the fact that you know that you you always have a child or children that you have to know that you have to put in work you have to make things happen you have to make that child or children be happy the greatest thing about being a mom is knowing that you have someone that looks up to you as a role model someone that you just have to take care of be happy for them be there for them throughout the way whether through hard times or good times i would say being being a mom is one of the best thing anyone can look forward to where you originally come from so i was born and raised in clarendon was in clarendon all along and i'm still in clarendon okay yeah i am a claridonian did you ever get engaged for real that was just a fake show so that engagement wasn't real you want more kids yeah in the near future that is a must how old were you when you were pregnant when i was pregnant i was 17 years old what sign are you i'm a libra as you all can see my chain saying a libra i don't know if you all can see what's your favorite perfume or body spray my favorite perfume or body spray is yoga boss yeah that spray it have a buzz method what high school did you attended did you go to UER college loving the vids rush um, I answered this question before um, saying I went to Edwin Allen high school and for the second part of this question, did you go to UER College? No, I didn't. Why can't Chloe say words properly? Alright, so as you all know, Chloe is a baby. And every child has to go through a learning phrase. And therefore, Chloe is not going to just get up and just randomly be calling some words or pronouncing them right. Everything takes a period of time before it can complete so the reason why 
she can't call words properly is because she's basically going through a learning phase so as time progresses she'll be able to pronounce her words and talk properly okay so that's it for now I hope I have answered all of you guys question fair enough so if it's a case where you all would want me to do a part two just let me know in the comment section and I will do a part two so if it's a case where so if it's a case where your question didn't get answered or you didn't get the chance to ask me a question in this video you can feel free to comment part two and depending on how much persons comment part two um, I probably just put up like a Q&A thing on YouTube and you all can just leave your questions and then I'll do a video and answer it.